Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Brick Eats in this video. Brick Eats, McDonald's, new sauces, mambo, and sweet and spicy jam. This is the new one that he uploaded yesterday, and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize, and I will take care of them. Now, let's get to this video. McDonald's has two new sauces. That's right, two new sauces. They have a sweet and spicy jam and a mambo sauce. And guess what? You're about to get a history lesson. That's right, a history lesson. I'm Professor Brickman. And we're going to do this right now. Hey, that's right. Welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. Or Professor Brickman. I, I'm like a substitute professor. Like, I'm not qualified. Um, I'm just kind of doing this part-time. But, you know, we're going to try these new sauces right now because I am uh, I am, I'm keenly interested in what's going on here. This is a sweet and spicy jam. Now, according to the website, the... I printed this all out, but I have it right here. And highlight it. See? I am a professor. The sweet and spicy jam dipping sauce is a jammy red pepper sauce. What is a jammy red pepper sauce? I don't know. Uh, with a Szechuan peppercorn kick and extra heat from cayenne pepper, finished with apple cider vinegar. This is their first sauce made for breakfast, and I didn't know that. I am happen to be here at lunch, so um, my bad. But it says try it with a McMuffin, a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, drizzle on a hash brown. It says it's great with McNuggets and fries, too. So I got fries. I don't know if you know this, but McDonald's has a full basket of fries. Look at this. This wow. is so dope. It's huge, man. As if the large wasn't big enough. God, I love McDonald's fries. What? I also got... Hold on, everyone. Snoopy wants some attention. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, an order of McNuggets. Little McNuggets. I don't know. You want more history? These were actually invented by a franchisee, but he didn't use chicken. He used onions. There were onions in there. And somebody at corporate was like, that's a great idea, but let's do it with chicken instead of onions. Good call, huh? Aren't you glad they're not? Onion McNuggets? Wait, wait, wait. What they would be called? Yeah. Onion McNuggets. Onion, onion McNuggets. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe they were good. Back to the sauce. So sweet and spicy jam. There it is. You can't tell because it's in a container. I don't want to drip it. Look at that. Looks like it's going to run out. Ooh, wee. Let's get it. Let's get it on a McNugget. Let's see what it's like. Ooh, yeah. Sweet and spicy. I wonder if this is like a kind of like a... Kind of like a Thai chili sauce, yeah? Hold on, everyone. I need a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, maybe? You think it looks like a Thai chili sauce? I don't know. I can't tell. Let's taste it. I can't tell either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man. That is old. It's a breakfast sauce. Whoa. Oh, man. It is overpowering. Mm. I don't really like it. It's sweet, almost like a like a kind of a berry sauce to be like a, you know, like, like strawberry or blackberry sauce. You know how sweet they are? Mm. But then it's got this weird spicy kick to it. Kind of a... Overpowering. Oh my god. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe in small quantities. I'll dip it like my kid dips in sauces. There, there we go. Man. Oh man. If you like potent sauces, this one's for you. Um, as far as spicy goes, you know, there's a little back spice on it. It's just so overpowering when you take the first bite. Why do we keep eating it? I don't like it. You gotta keep eating it. 
Maybe it's growing on me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, it'd definitely be better with breakfast. That seems like something that would go good on, like, maybe toast. Like, in a limited quantity. You don't want to get too much. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But, God. The mango sauce. The mango sauce. Now, I am going to read you this, and then I'm going to tell you why you're getting a history lesson. According to McDonald's, the mango sauce, with roots in Washington, D.C.'s black community, mango sauce's history is just as rich as its flavor. McDonald's take on this classic dipping sauce is tomato-based, sweet, spicy, and vinegary, inspired by the D.C. area mango sauce. Now, you have my attention. They said the history is just as rich as its flavor. So, I said... Well, let's do a Google search and find out what mumbo sauce actually is. And this is what I found out. Mumbo sauce is actually mumbo sauce, okay? And mumbo sauce uh, is claimed by Chicago and Washington, D.C. Mumbo sauce actually originated in Chicago. Argia, A-R-G-I-A, Argia B. Collins Sr., first created the sauce, she used it as barbecue rib shack in Chicago in the 1940s, okay? And then it wow. wasn't long before it became a staple in the city. Collins' granddaughter explained the sauce's significance to the Chicago Tribune. She said, the sauce is more than about barbecue, it's a cooking sauce, and it was also a way to help build the black community. Now, during the 50s and 60s, Mumbo sauce, now that's M U M B O, and see how this is M A M B O. Mumbo sauce became popular in the DC area. Now, Capital City Mumbo sauce became a major manufacturer of the sauce in the nation's capital, but the brand became the center of a lawsuit with the Collins family. The judge ruled that Capital City Mumbo sauce could not use the name anymore, so the brand changed to Capital City Mumbo Sauce. Mumbo, M-A-M-B-O. Now, Mumbo, the Mumbo Sauce has also expanded way past, there's tons of different, I mean, well, when I so did the Google search, well, there's tons of different brands. Capital City's the one that comes up first, uh, but you can get that original one, the Collins Family one from Chicago. It's actually called Mumbo Sauce, so it doesn't come up right away. Uh, but there's tons of different brands of, of Mumbo Sauce, so I guess McDonald's is, uh, Jumping on the, the the wagon, they're a little late, man. I mean, this came out in the 40s, about 80 years behind the bus on this one. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, it says it's 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 tomato based, kind of with the consistency consistency of ketchup. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna dip my finger in here because it doesn't look like ketchup. I said it's tons of sauces. I've tried some recipes. I don't 
right there. Sorry about that, everybody. First, I don't know. You know what? It probably, I bet it was, I bet it would be good on a, a, a biscuit. But this mumbo sauce, get it on a McChicken. Make sure you don't get all that junk on your McChicken when you get it. If you want to have it dry so you can get that sauce and taste it real good. Hey, I'm going to pass my lunch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you and I appreciate all those likes, comments, and subscribes. Hit that next video to watch the next one. And until next time, keep trying McDonald's new sauces. And we'll see ya. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up. And I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. And I'm sorry for all the pausing of the video. Pausing the video so much, everybody. I'm sorry, everybody. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or to Brick Eats channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists. On both my main channel and my second channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 8,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 4,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too. Please, everybody, I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too. Please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate it. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that too. And sorry I almost said the wrong thing when I had my words jumbled together and running together. Sorry about that, everybody. My bad. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.